Hi, this is David. Leave a heart. You're watching Scrabble TV. You're not watching Scrabble TV. David, leave a heart. David, leave a heart. I had a dream as a child to be a famous television actor. And so I came to California in the 76, and I started doing voiceovers uh, for different, different shows and commercials, even doing extra work. And then bam, I, um, I did uh, walk-on parts with speaking lines on movies and TV shows. And uh, I did stand-up comedy with Robin Williams in the early uh, 70s. Could you give us sort of a summary about who the Corinthians are? The Corinthians is an extraterrestrial race that has given us a lot of back engineering technology. They worked a lot with Bob Renown in 1961. They are a uh, extraterrestrial race. Uh, they're from Star Corridor, which is 411 light years away from Earth. And they're a real race that it does exist. The Syndicate must now destroy the entire planet, including all Omegans, Corinthians, and humans. We have only one hope for survival. The Omegans must join forces with the Corendians and humans in order to fight the Syndicate. When my parents moved to Park Forest, Illinois, 117 Westwood Drive in Park Forest, Illinois, I was abducted by extraterrestrials. Samples of my blood and my skin were taken and put it in, 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 in tubes. It was a very scary situation. And why do you think they wanted to abduct you? Did they I tell don't you? know, I don't know. But the things, life is filled with surprises. President Eisenhower cut a deal with the extraterrestrials to abduct and to do the cattle mutilations in exchange for a lot of the back engineering technology that we use today. Gods and mortal principle is with us everywhere. My cousin Phyllis McKinnon, who I stayed with for 15 years, uh, she uh, was a, uh, a secretary for the uh, army, and, and she shared with me the cell phones, the computers, and the GPS, and the tablets way back in the 80s when I first moved in with her, and she, she told me UFOs were real. She said by, not, by year 2000, every home and business would have a laptop and a computer and a cell phone, and she was right, but she predicted it did come true. Do you believe that there's any sort of satanic cults or Illuminati type circles in Hollywood? My great grandfather was a was a Mason. He started the first Mason Lodge in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Henry was his name. I never became one. I don't cut down religions or people. They all are setting uh, things to, to teach and better uh, humanity. Uh, Salome, uh, and yes, the Omegans would say Custis Ferris means good friends. Uh, and, 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 and they need to have classes to teach white kids to learn to have tolerance for Hispanics and African Americans and Asian people to learn other cultures. Acting is timing, believing, and visualization. Set goals for yourself. No, don't let anybody tear you down. Know that you are loved, cherished, respected, and appreciated. Know that you are, are valued and that you can be a winner, not a loser. And you are what you think. So think positive. Think about being a winner, not a loser. And you can achieve anything you want to if you believe. That's kind of weird.